Welcome to Coach B Daily. I'm Coach B. In this evening's lesson, we'll discuss how one simple choice and simple change you can make can help you to lose weight simply. So there are several compound reasons why we retain excess fat. Most of them come down to a few simpler reasons, such as uh, we eat too much processed sugar, uh, we don't have enough muscle mass, we're not getting adequate rest. Uh, but one very simple one is that we simply eat too much. We're eating too many calories. Now, I'm not a proponent of counting calories. I don't coach anyone to do that unless they're, you know, headed for a show, a fitness competition, or just a very strict athlete where weight plays a major role in their ability, like, say, a prize fighter who would need to make weight or a wrestler or something like that. But most people don't have that. Most people are, you know, simply, hey, I would like to lose weight. What are the things that I can do? I've tried before and I've hit roadblocks and I'd like to finally decode this problem. And that's what I do. So this one simple change should prove to be a pretty big help to you. And it comes in the form of a story. So once there was a study uh, and they set up at a movie theater and they told customers that, if they were to agree to participate in the study, the movie theater would give them a free bucket of popcorn just for participating. And of course, some percentage of the people said yes, because why not? The popcorn's free. You don't have to do anything. You go see a movie, you got free popcorn. What the people didn't know was that the movie theater purposely made very bad popcorn. So that means they gave out stale or burnt or popcorn with a lot of kernels in it. It was bad popcorn. There's a reason for that. I'll get to it in a second. They gave the popcorn out in varying size buckets. So some were tall, skinny, some were wide, different shapes, different sizes. Some were larger than others, some were small. Whatever. They sent the people into the theater to go watch the movie. Now, they made the bad popcorn because they knew that that would uh, prompt some percentage of the people to come back and complain, which is part of the study. So they send people off into the movies. People come back out of the movies. Some people just don't say anything. Some people come back and complain and say, this is the worst popcorn ever. Uh, some people even ask for refunds. They didn't even pay for it. But um, so they return, they return the popcorn, they complain, and the movie theater just apologize. Hey, I'm sorry. You know, here, have a free something on us. Sorry, please come back. Thank you so much. But now what they have is this return data. Now they have data back. See, what the people didn't know was that was the study. Getting you to go in, take this popcorn, eat what you're going to eat, and bring it back was the data for the study. So now, of the popcorn buckets they had back, let's say they're all labeled, they can now determine based on how they know how much they sent the popcorn buckets out with versus how much they came back with. So now it's very easy to determine how much a person ate. And here's what they found. People who had larger buckets of popcorn ate more of the bad popcorn than people who had smaller buckets of the same equally bad popcorn. Which should be astounding to you because in both cases it was bad popcorn. I mean, how much, if you could think about it logically, you probably wouldn't eat the bad popcorn. But we don't operate logically when we're talking about food. The important, important thing here is to understand that the size of the container influenced how much the people ate. And so here's to that simple tip I was telling you about. If you go home right now, if your mission is to lose weight, lose excess fat, one of the variables is that you're eating too much. This is just one, but this will help. If you go home right now, you go in your cabinets, you pack up every full-size dinner plate in a nice box and you take it to the attic or to the garage or put it away somewhere out of reach so that they're not being used anymore. And instead, use the smaller, medium-sized salad plates, which basically is a smaller container. So now, just banking on human nature, you're going to end up eating less simply because of the fact that you have a smaller container. And the science says it works. And so does my experience. So give it a shot. 
And uh, join me and my team at eatingforabs.com for the ultimate nutrition course. We will guide you through and to your goal. And also join this conversation, meaning leave comments and questions at facebook.com slash eatingforabs. This is Coach B. You have a good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow.